pretty good following for a small internet show that comes out once a week. And sure, we aren't economists seen on MSNBC or Fox, and we're not Gary Keller or Barry Hebby, but I will say this, we have been right on about a lot of things, and not only right, we've been super early on a lot of topics as well. I guess that's the power of a grassroots show that's super entrenched in the industry, and hopefully that's why you guys watch, and I appreciate that. Now, I wanna revisit a topic that we were early on and now proving to be right on, and it took Gary Keller to come out and say what we said about a year ago on the Ari Source to be validated. And I say validated because we got beat up for even touching on this topic last time. What am I talking about? I'll get to that in a second. Back to Gary Keller, the co-founder of the largest real estate company. Now Gary spoke at Mega Camp last week in Texas and he wasn't too optimistic about housing, foreshadowing a shift in the housing market. I'll sum up his talk with a few major points. Days on the market are up. The supply of move up and higher in housing is now growing. Home prices are going down in some markets. Unit sales are slowing and construction is flat. He also pointed out the median home price is higher than it's ever been in the history of recorded time. Last time we were here, we were on the verge of recession. Ah, geez, Gary. Oh, you're not done? He also stated nationally sales are slowing in some markets as affordability becomes a serious issue. We are now seeing many markets split by price point. Entry level homes remain a seller market, but some luxury and move up markets are showing signs of shifting. Now after sharing all that good news, Gary hit on the topic that I was alluding to at the beginning of the show and something we talked about in our death of a realtor and lender show. Keller predicts increased competition in the predictive analytics space will drive accuracy leading to higher conversion rates of online leads. And you don't have to read into that statement too much to see what he's talking about. The second thing he reiterated, and again, we covered this on our show, is this. The theory and development of artificial intelligence computer systems able to perform tasks that normally require human intelligence are on the rise, such as visual perception, speech recognition, decision making, and translation between languages. The third thing Gary Keller talked about that was also covered on our previous show was something that we received a ton of pushback on. It's simply this. New competitors are entering the real estate market offering transparent offer management solutions that allow consumers to place offers on homes online with or without an agent. Now Gary's talk was really about the housing shift in the real estate market, which I agree with by the way, but he also touched on the bigger issue in my opinion the shift on how we do things in our industry. And I've been saying this for a while, this industry, both real estate and lending, is long overdue for a technology upgrade, a facelift, if you will, for how things are done. How we buy, sell, and finance houses will be much, much different in the coming years. And it's not that it will happen, it's already happening as the RE source and Gary alluded to. The technology shift in the real estate and lending industry will be massive. And let me remind you of the sources I used to cover this topic originally. An Oxford study that pointed out that lenders and realtors were at the top of their study as to jobs that were to be automated in the near future. Now, I'm not saying that realtors and lenders will be replaced with the bot, but Gary did point out that there has been a shift from the traditional realtor model and he actually had a few slides in his deck about artificial intelligence and predictive analytics. The real shift is upon us, and once again, disruptive innovators will win this game. They already are. Lending has theirs, and so does the real estate world. Redfin's been labeled as a disruptor, and Redfin and their new model is picking up steam and stealing market share. And you may not like the discount online option, but studies show consumers do. Let me cite another source, Mortgage News Daily, talking about the disruptors, Redfin. If consumers have their way, technology-powered and money-saving alternatives to the traditional real estate sales model will continue to change the way homes are bought and sold. That's a huge statement. The percentage of respondents to this year's survey who indicated they are open to such changes increased to 69%. Only 52% they would prefer a purely commissioned agent, meaning that nearly half are open to a model such as Redfin where agents are employed on salary and receive bonuses based off of customer satisfaction. The bottom line is that people who are buying or selling a home should evaluate all their services, options, and negotiate fees. Now, hear me on this. I didn't say those last words. That was Mortgage News Daily, and I'm not saying bots will rule this industry, but I am saying that we need to get on the right side of this thing. We can hold on to yesteryear and the traditional real estate and lending models, or we can adapt and thrive. And I'll say that once again, 
You can adapt or die, or you can adapt and thrive, and I choose the latter. Now, blow up the chat log below, and we will see you guys next week.